topic 19d we are still in lesson 19 of this uh, comtia core 2 certification exam i am your instructor celito rodriguez identify basics of scripting shell scripting is a fundamental concept for many IT professionals, especially uh, those working with Linux and Unix systems. Shell scripts are computer programs written to be uh, executed by a shell or a command line interpreter. The scripts automate re repetitive, uh, repetitive tasks improving efficiency and reducing errors. Examples, uh, we could mention automating uh, file backups, system configuration, or software installation. Development environments are the tools and software used to write, test, debug, and run scripts. They can be simple text editors or complex IDEs with advanced features. Shell scripting languages, uh, there are basically uh, many of them. There's not a single language, but rather scripting features built into shells like Bash, uh, ZSH, etc. These features allow writing controls, uh, flow statements like if and else, or loops for like uh, uh, for a while, and uh, working with variables. When it comes to general purpose scripting languages, uh, more powerful languages like Python, uh, Ruby, or Perl can also be used for scripting. Uh, they offer a wider range of functionalities compared to shell scripting. Programming languages versus scripting languages. Programming languages are designed for complex applications with features like object-oriented programming and extensible libraries uh, like C++, Java, etc. Uh, scripting languages, often uh, interpreter, no compila uh, compilation is needed, and, and simpler are ideal for automating tasks with a specific environment, for example, shell scripting, Python scripting, etc. Editors and integrated development environments, or IDEs. The editors are basic tools for writing and editing text files, including shell scripts, like, for example, Veeam and Nano in, in, in Linux. IDEs provide advanced features like syntax highlighting, code completion, debugging tools, and project management. Uh, examples we could mention Visual Studio Code, uh, PyCharm, and others. Linux shell scripts uh, ends in .sh. Uh, those are shell scripts on Linux systems typically uh, again, have that uh, SA uh, that is a extension. So if I would be called like myscript.sh, they are executed by the shell after uh, setting appropriate permissions. Uh, another key concept is the uh, shebang line, which is the first line of a shell script, uh, as can be seen on the picture, often starting with the upper sign and the exclamation. Uh, point uh, the it, it, it specifies the interpreter uh, to be used for running the script when it comes to execution uh, execute permission shell scripts need to be executable uh, to run from the command line you can use the chmod command to grant uh, execute permission uh, such as like chmod plus x MyScript.ch would give execution permission to that file. By understanding these concepts, you can leverage the power of shell scripting to automate tasks. 
streamline workflows, and improve your efficiency in a Linux environment. At the same time, you will be equipped to answer uh, questions that may appear in the a certification exam. Basic script constructs. These are fundamental building blocks used to create scripts for programming in a programming language. They include uh, structures like statements, expressions, variables, constants, uh, control flow constructs such as loops and conditional statements, and functions or procedures. Comments are non-executable lines in a script or program that provide human readable explanations or annotations. They are ignored by the interpreter or compiler and serve to document the code, making it easier to understand and maintain. Comments are crucial for explaining the purpose of code segments, documenting uh, assumptions or constraints, and providing context to other developers. Identifiers, uh, variables and constants, are names given to various elements within a script or program, such as variables and constants. They serve as labels for storing and referencing data. Variables are identifiers associated with values that may change during the execution of the script, while constants are identifiers associated with fixed values that remain unchanged throughout the program's execution. Conditional branching is a programming concept that allows a script or program to execute different code paths based on certain conditions. Conditional statements such as if else or switch statements are used to define these conditions depending on whether the condition evaluates to true or false the program will execute different blocks of code enabling decision making and control flow loops are programming constructs that enable repetitive execution of a block of code. They allow a scripts or programs to perform tasks iteratively based on a specified conditions or a predetermined number of iterations. Common types of loops include uh, the for loops, the while loops, and the do while loops, each with their own syntax and use cases. Operators are symbols or keywords used to uh, perform operations on uh, data such as arithmetic, comparison, logical, and assignment operations. Arithmetic operators perform mathematical calculations, comparison operators compare values, Logical operators perform logical operations, and assignment operators assign values to variables. Understanding and correctly using uh, operators is essential for writing uh, effective um, scripts and programs. Windows scripts. Uh, in Windows, there are several ways of creating scripts. The most common way is using PowerShell. Uh, scripts in PowerShell, we have the extension that PS1. And this is Microsoft's automation framework, uh, again, using the that PS1 files uh, for systems management and administrative tasks on Windows. Uh, Visual Script, that VBS is Microsoft scripting language uh, with the .vbs files used for automating Windows tasks and a small application development. Again, uh, Visual uh, Basic Script used to be popular, but almost uh, everything that we do in Windows, we use PowerShell. 
and finally is uh, batch files which are text files with the .bat extension containing commands for automating tasks and system maintenance on Windows command prompt. Again, PowerShell has taken over and it is the most popular Windows scripting language in, um, again, uh, in the Windows environment. Here is a uh, basic uh, PowerShell sample. Uh, here the script uh, retrieves the computer name and IP address. You could open PowerShell in Windows and copy and paste the code exactly as it is, or you could uh, open, let's say, Notepad, uh, copy and paste this test and save it, give it a name with the extension .ps1, and then by running that file, this program will execute as well. JavaScript and Python. JavaScript is a renowned, uh, or rather it's, it's renowned for web and mobile app development, yet its versatility uh, extends beyond that. With Node.js, it powers service-size scripting, enabling full-stack web development. Additionally, JavaScript finds utility in desktop app development and game development, among other areas. Uh, Python, known for its simplicity and readability, uh, transcends its primary association with general purpose uh, programming. It is indispensable in fields like data science, uh, machine learning and scientific computing due to its rich ecosystems of libraries. Python's uh, application span web development, automation, system administration, education, and much more. Both languages are uh, uh, basically, uh, rather both languages exemplify general purpose scripting. Uh, proving uh, adaptable to uh, diverse programming tasks uh, across various industries and domains. The use cases for scripting. A scripting languages like Python, JavaScript, and Bash uh, offer versatile solutions across numerous domains. Uh, we could mention one, automation, a streamline repetitive, repetitive tasks such as file management, data processing, and system administration with a script that executes sequence of commands automatically. Two, web development, uh, create dynamic and uh, interactive web pages using JavaScript for uh, client-side scripting and service-side scripting with the know that JS. Uh, Python frameworks like D, uh, Django and Flask facilitate backend development as well. Uh, three, data analysis and uh, visualization. Python's extensive libraries like uh, Pandas and uh, uh, Matt uh, Loptlib, it's another one, empower analysts to process, analyze, and visualize large data sets efficiently. Uh, they could also be used in system administration, DevOps, network automation, machine learning and artificial intelligence, game development, uh, text processing and, and parsing, and educational tools. These uh, use cases underscore the versatility and uh, practicality of uh, scripting languages in various industries and applications. A scripting best practices and considerations. Poorly written code can lead to unexpected systems changes or instability due to several reasons. One, uh, unintended side effects. Inefficient or poorly structured code may inadvertently 
modify system settings or configurations. You, you have to be very careful, leading to unexpected behavior or instability. Uh, for example, a script designed to update a specific configuration file might inadvertently uh, override critical settings or introduce conflicts with other system components. Two, resource leaks. Failure to properly manage system resources, such as memory or file handles, can result in resource leaks. Over time, these leaks can lead to the depletion of system resources, degrading of performance, and eventual system instability or crashes. Three, insecure practices. Code that lacks proper input validation or error handling uh, mechanisms can be vulnerable to security threats such as injection attacks, buffer overflows, or denial of service attacks. Exploiting these vulnerabilities can result in unauthorized access, data breaches, or system compromise. Four, infinite loops or recursion. Faulty logic or programming errors, such as infinite loops or excessive recursion, can consume CPU resources and cause system slowdown or crashes. These issues may also lead to system unresponsiveness or the need for manual uh, intervention to restore uh, functionality. And five, among others, uh, compatibility issues. Code that relies on a specific system's configurations, dependencies, or external libraries may encounter compatibility issues when deployed in different environments. These issues can result in runtime errors, application crashes, or unexpected behavior. Uh, the concept of uh, an attack surface refers to the sum of all possible points in a system where an attacker could attempt unauthorized uh, access or exploitation. Poorly written code can increase the attack surface by introducing vulnerabilities or weaknesses that attackers can exploit to compromise the system. Monitoring and auditing developed and reused third-party code for known vulnerabilities and bad practices are essential for uh, mitigating these risks. Uh, when it comes to uh, vulnerability management, again, some of these uh, best practices are then vulnerability management, make sure that uh, software is uh, updated regularly, uh, code reviews, uh, by conducting thorough code reviews of developed and reused third-party code, to identify and address potential security weaknesses, coding errors or insecure practices. Uh, dependency management, uh, to keep track of dependencies and libraries used in uh, third-party code to ensure that uh, they are up-to-date and free from known vulnerabilities. And uh, secure development practices, which promote secure uh, coding practices among developers to minimize the introduction of vulnerabilities or weaknesses in developed and reused code. Uh, it is important that by prioritizing code quality, uh, security, and risk management practices, organizations can mitigate the potential impact of poor code on system stability, security, and reliability while minimizing the attack surface and enhancing overall resilience to threats and vulnerabilities. This is the end of uh, lesson 19, topic D more specifically, uh, the basis of a scripting. We discussed some shell scripts, talked about the shell script environment in Linux, we also talked about a basic script uh, constructs, uh, like uh, writing comments and, and variables and stuff like that. We discussed uh, Windows scripts. We talked about 
uh, specifically PowerShell, that is one of the most uh, popular and powerful uh, scripting language in the Windows environment. We also talked about JavaScript and Python, uh, that are two of the most popular versatile and um, programming languages in the market nowadays. Uh, we discussed some use cases for scripting, talked about the use for automation. It, it's uh, and uh, when we have to do uh, repetitive tasks, so scripting is great. And finally, we talked about a scripting best practices and considerations, and um, more specifically, talked about the fact that uh, you can introduce a scripting. It's great, but uh, also very powerful, and you can introduce uh, vulnerability uh, in an environment if you uh, create or uh, poor uh, coding uh, practices and scripts. Uh, for the lab activity, you are going to implement a PowerShell script. Uh, so basically, you're going to develop PowerShell script to automate creation on virtual machines. And uh, there is another lab in which you will develop a bash script to automate gathering information from a Linux host.